Hello, and welcome. I am Zinder, and here we are once again. And they want to give me things. Things that I find pleasing. Mostly. Especially replacing the gloves seems like a good idea. But. Been practicing your dance steps, Skitter Enix. We're about ready to run rings around Captain Malala and her swads. The Yellow Jackets have been pressing their investigations into the treasures that were cloyed from the Maelstrom tub, but as you know, we've got our own network of coves. What don't miss not of the goings on about town. As for the sharp end of the job, it'll be you, me, Underfoot, and Lestray. Let's get down to business, eh? I may have changed my uh, hair color, by the way. The Kib's late to the feast, so I'll just make sure we're all on the same page for the now. When you get down to it, we have two goals for this job. Bite back th them three treasures, and mail over the coves what cloyed them in the first place. You can be sure that the Yellow Jacket sure will be doing her damnedest to beat us to the marks, and in seeing as the fate of the guild is at stake, we best not drag our do beaters on this one. I say we grabble them baubles before she's even lifted anchor and give her proper reason to rage against us rogues. You seem awful keen on this contest all of a sudden, Jack. Hey, well, there's the thing. I sent me a grievance to the Thalocracy regarding the Shrew's challenge, but them paper shufflers don't care a whit as long as one of us gets the job done. So I figure I'd sail with the wind rather than against it. Besides, we wouldn't want to shirk our duties and force poor Captain Malala to blunder about in the scary darkmans, now would we? How very gentlemanly of ye. Well, them's the cards... What we've been doubt, ain't they? Now stow your quips and let's hear what you've learned about them bloody treasures already. Aye, the treasures. According to the manifest of that Maelstrom vessel, we're looking to bite back the Cerulean Star, the Silver Sorrows, and something called the Black Sarcophagus. Aside from the fancy names, I was able to whittle a few more details. The Cerulean Star, for starters, is a big old blue diamond what shines like, well, a star, I suppose. Then we've got the Silver Sorrows, a pair of earrings what once graced the waddles of a Sultana of Alda. Then th there's a tale, but one won't, one what don't concern us at present. Lastly, this black sarcophagus thing. I'm afraid that one remained a mystery no matter how much I poked and prodded. In any case, all three of these trinkets was recorded as spoils from official privateer and raids. Now, as you know, a pirate will usually a pirate will usually sell his plunder through a liable fence. Sometimes, through holding an auction, is the only way to offload goods what is too extravagant or is just too bleeding rare for the average cold to deal in. Our three wondrous treasures fell into the auction only category. When the bidding began in Aleport, the Thalocracy weighed in and with its ample purse made some unmatchable offers, then organized a tub for the merchandise to be shipped back to Limsa. And that's when our mercs swooped and picked up, picked their transport clean. I had a few wids with the Maelstrom sailors that survived the attack, and they pointed the figure at the grinning curs. Problem is, not one coal seen hide nor hair of the, the curs, not to mention their bloody ship, since the raid. Sorry I'm late, Jack, but you'll want to hear this. Some cargo that was cloyed from that transport ship just found during a routine inspection at the La Thagrin checkpoint. La Thagrin? Have the Kurs made landfall then? And what are the treasures? Any mention of them? Not what I've heard, but the jackets ain't done shaking out all the boxes yet. Then we better get our eyes out there quick like, Katarina, underfoot. You're fresh for a run, aren't ye? Come on, lass, I'll race you out to the checkpoint. I cast a glamour of brass spectacles on my glasses. Deal with it. Lothagrin, where the hell is that? Villanosca, okay, just outside the Zephyr Gate. Oop, running in circles. Leave the guild. To exit the building and go to my quest. Is 
So for Gate. I still have this giant, massive, extremely large feeling that this is all one massive hoax to try and get the rogues guild destroyed, when in reality, what we're going to end up doing is needing to discover the fact that she's the one that set it up. Uh, one more race. You owe me a pint, Katarina. Gapes aside, though, it looks like the keb was right about the cargo. When I'll be able to scratch from the swads at the gate, it seems a peddler was boned for carrying goods what was known to be aboard that transport. They carted the poor sod away in chains, but the cargo itself is still here. I saw a pair of jackets carrying boxes up that wooden ramp. We need to know what's in them crates. I get the feeling they won't open their gans for the asking, though not while this fool's challenge is going on. Do you think you could skulk over there and see if they found them treasures yet? Okay, so it's up here? Two yellow ticket soldiers are inspecting the seized cargo. Approach them while cloaked by your height ability and attempt to listen on all their progress. The other projects are discussing contents of the crates. It's all junk. No diamond, no earrings, and no bloody black sarcophagus. It looks like we'll just have to lean hard on that skinny peddler if we're to find them treasures. The sergeant says the merchant's still pleading ignorance, claims he was hired to carry the goods to the checkpoint and not else. What a pile of poogle shite. I'm guessing the pirates have split the cargo and are trying their luck at every checkpoint. Captain Malolo's already given orders to double the guard and inspect every cart and wagon which come through. Hmm. So they found not a value. Ben. Good. I'm assuming that means good. I thought we'd lost the contest before we'd even properly started, but that, as it may, something don't add up here. Why would ye order a coal to carry the goods through the checkpoint? No smuggler is that daft, surely. And even if by some miracle of the gods ye squirmed through a lithogran, or squeamed through lithogran without raising a fuss, why would ye risk taking merchandise back to the city what ye cloyed it from? No, there's a bigger picture here, and we need to take a step back to see it. Assuming the curs hired this peddler to do their dirty work, there'll be someone in the shadows as in the shadows as brokered the deal, and just and I just happen to know a cove what makes his business to oversee these kinds of shady art agreements. The thing is, this black marketeer bloke changes his haunts depending on how the breeze blows. Quite literally, in fact, I seem to recall the navigator's veil being shifted by a westerly this morning, so that put him. Uh, Tiller's Rest. Nice and close. Why don't we go ask him a few questions before we head back to the guild? Up there, huh? I could teleport, but that just might be a little bit too lazy. Maybe. I don't think the zone's really big enough to warrant it. Seems like the number of rogues has reduced by a fairly decent margin already. I was hoping to get my get one of the duty roulette things done, but the problem is with so many people queuing up as DPS, the wait time is literally off the scale. Fun. Farmer in need. Mm. You. I pride myself on my memory for faces, but yours is unknown to me. Are you an earnest customer or an inquisitive annoyance? You must be sure of your intentions.
Okay. Yeah, talk to me now. Ah, the dance is old, but the name is new. Put away your daggers, rogue. I have peddled my wares to your kind since the upright thieves stalked the night. Speak, what would you have of this humble merchant? Still tormenting the colts, eh, granddad? We've come for information on a smuggling job. There was this peddler who was cut at the Lothagran checkpoint, moving merchandise for the grinning curs. Pleaded innocence even when he had the screws put to him. You wouldn't know aught about that deal, would you? Every last sort of detail. Not a single grain of stolen sand passes through the shadows without my knowledge. But such prickly wisdom lodges tightly in one's throat. What have you brought to ease the pain of its passage? Spare me the theatrics, granddad. Here's your usual purse. The sum is paid. The deal is made. May my answers sate your fickle hunger. Your hapless peddler was indeed innocent. He was but a beast of burden employed by associates of the grinning curs, and likely knew not of his freight's tainted nature. A pawn, if you will, a convenient decoy. There are those amongst my acquaintances who specialize in providing such services. Aye, that's what I thought. The curs wanted that coal to get caught, and now the jackets have had a taste, they'll waste their time yafflin' every shite pie what comes through their checkpoints. Meanwhile, the real treasures are hidden away in the Dark Man's along with the Grinning Curs. Not the Dark Man's, Master Rogue. The Mist. Aside from the Traveling Merchant, the Curs' associates have spent coin on another piece for this little game. A Navigator. One who is practiced in piloting a vessel through the Doxies' pool. The Doxies? The gods only know how many ships sailed into that fog soup and never come out again, and that's why... Where you say the curs have gone to ground? Now there's a trick. There's a trick what took some bullocks. Once their hunted tub was sitting dimmer in the mist, though, it would have been easy to have those associates of theirs ferry the junk goods to Lenoshka. Then the canny coves just needed to wait for the peddler to get boned and draw the glazes of the yellow jackets inland. We need to strike now. As soon as they learn the coast is clear, they'll flee for open waters. A fair appraisal of events. Now that you know the location of your marks, however, it will not be so difficult to track them down. The Doxy's pool was once an impenetrable shroud, but ne ever since the calamity, the mists are far less constant. Narrow your search to the heaviest banks, and you will soon uncover those who wish to remain unseen. But now a warning. The mists conceal other dangers besides the dogs you seek. A careless step may land you upon the chopping block. The chopping block? You, ca you can't mean... Seems I found myself another lead to look into. You hurry on back t to Jack, and I'll tell him what we've learned so far. Speak with Jack the Rogue Skills. Okay. Curious as to how much further this is going to go. Just curious, really. Oh, there we go, trying to click on the door again. About time, lass. Ye was gone so long, I almost sent the stray after ye. What happened to Underfoot? So our marks and their bitten baubles are snug inside the Doxy's pool, eh? I'll not discount the old man's warning, but we have not but a banana chance to crush the curs and gravel them treasures. We board their ship right now. You, me, and the cab. 
I suppose we'll be needing ourselves a tub for the voyage. I'll have wids with Swerson and see what the dry docks can spare us by way of shipping a reliable crew. Get your kit together and meet us there. Or we dry docks. Okay. So, about to enter an instant situation here. All right, Katarina, pulled some favors, and there's a crew that'll get us close enough to scamper aboard the Curtis vessel. It'll be cramped up on that deck. If we try to mill the whole lot at once, we'll soon find ourselves up against the rails. So we go in quick and quiet and try to knock them off a few at a time. Well, Les, are you eager to test your sea legs? All right. Time to get destroyed. Or destroy them, or something. Right, no one's seen it so far. Let's get to work. Uh, da, da, da. Sink me stabbers and the captain. Those two back there are yours. Other me, Katarina. Oh, fire. Fire burns. The thing about these story quests is it's very hard to actually, like, die because they're designed in a way to prevent it. Oh. Oh. She gets goat on me. That's actually fantastic. His lack of TP is slightly annoying. Even with them spamming goad on me, well, the fact that they're spamming goad on me proves that they knew that it, you were gonna have TP issues on this. So, meh. Then again, both the NPCs also healed, so they expected you to take quite a lot of damage. 
And the captain is down. Jack, I found me one of them treasures. Unless there's another fist-sized blue diamond on board, it's got to be the Cerulean Star. As for the other two baubles, I've tossed the, tossed the cabins and been through the whole elm by elm, but there's not else here. Well, we'll just have to ask all sweet-like, won't we? Spit it out, Kerr, where are you keeping the rest of your treasures? Ha, huh, you'd think I'd spill me guts for the likes of you, rogue? Maybe ye wouldn't at that, but what about this partner you're working with. How do you... We don't need no partner. So you're telling me all this was your own idea. You woke up one day and decided you'd attack a maelstrom transport right off the coast of Aleport, then disappear into the loving embrace of the Doxy's pool. Not exactly your style, is it? The grinning curs are too bleeding famous for being the crew what turned their snouts up at privateering in favor of keeping to the old ways. You've only escaped the yellow jackets grip this long by crawling on your bellies and snatching scraps what fell from the table. You ain't the type to sink your teeth into a navy-owned vessel no matter the prize. Aye. Well, maybe there ain't no profit in being cautious no more. The age old pirates is swift coming to an end. Merwib won't be stopped, not by a piddle paddling crew like mine. That's why we've thrown our lot in with the executioners. That blue rock was just our share of the loot, the scraps from the table, like you said. If you want the mother trinkets, then you'll have to take it up with our new mates. One other job at a time, lass. First we need to get these stinking coves and their tub back to the docks. Putting aside the issue who gave the orders, there's doubt, no doubt that these was the coves as raided that maelstrom ship. Now for a punishment, what fits the crime? I was informed that a certain well-known pirate ship was spotted weighing anchor at the Moraby Dry Docks. I assume this was your work? Aye, you missed all the excitement, Captain, but never you mind. The Cerulean Star is back in a bob in our sneaky little fambles. Hmph. <laughs> And these must be the grinning curs. Degenerate fiends, how dare you ply your filthy trade in laments and waters. How many innocent sailors were massacred that you might sate your vile avarice. Every one of your kind ought to be lined up and shot. A musket ball is the only answer for this rampant display of lawlessness. Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean just to execute them here on the bloody docks? At least taste the buggers into custody first. Handed them over to to ye for lawful punishment will satisfy the demands of the code just as well. We've already got the answers to our questions, so feel free to take them away. Do not presume to give me orders, rogue. You only managed to capture these villains and their ill-gotten treasure by employing unsavory and unconsciousable means, while you're not more than pirates yourselves. These bastards ain't worth the true pirate's spit. The upright thieves was formed to protect us from ourselves. Now they're just hunting dogs for the Admiral. Murr will think yanks the leash and another buccaneer disappears. You rogues are traitors to your own kind. If it hadn't have been for you... I go on then. Blame me and my coes for your own failures. Ye knew what ye was about when ye defied the code. Ye knew what we'd be after ye. We, we're done here. There are still two treasures left, rogue, and I mean to claim them both. I'd reconsider this contest of yours, Captain. Turns out this fish we're trying to hook is a shark, and it might just swallow ye whole. Well then. Uh, and speaking with Jack Bag of the Rogue Guild. Okay. Teleporte. Because I'm pretty sure my return's still down. Yes, four minutes. So I'll just teleport. These uh, quests are starting to get a little bit longer and longer. Not 
that I really mind all that much, to be honest. Open. Fisherman's Guild. Then work on that ship, Katarina. First blood is ours. How do you, how do you take the fight in the sea? There, there are few as can drop an opponent as quick as a rogue. But mind you, don't exhaust yourself just fail, flailing your blades at the tougher coves. And that goes double for when you mates on your flanks. If you notice one of your fellows, fellows starting to flag, use the tricks we taught you to goad them back into the fight. I've said it afore, lass, but I'll need to keep you sharp enough to carve steel for what's to come. I'm afraid this will be more of a challenge than even what that little shrew was bargaining for. That's assuming the curs wasn't lying about the executioners, and the executioners are who I bloody think they are. Twixt you and me, though, I'm hoping the name is just some laughable coincidence. Hmm. Gonna go for the gloves. really debatable to be honest. Let's see. Two, two, two. Two, 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 two. Four. Two, 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 two. Uh, two piece set bonus, huh? Uh. It's pretty much the same loss either way. Oh, I'm out of room, aren't I? No, 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 I think it just a little. Right. And... Daggers. Spiky. Well, that looks like that's going to be everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day!